Hey guys, how's it going today? So we got a really cool video today. I've got the answer that I get asked a lot. And that came in the form of a care package from Gator Guard. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this open and see what's going on. So as you know, Gator Guard is a company with Keel Shields, and that's one of the things that they specialize in. And all the time I'm getting asked the question, whether it's on YouTube or the forums or Facebook or whatever it may be, what can I put on the bottom of my kayak to protect it? Or every once in a while I get that question, hey, I cracked my kayak, I got a little hole in it, what can I do to fix it? So here we go, let's take a look. All right, we got some packaging material. So the first thing right on top is actually what we're talking about. This is the Gator Patch, nine inch by 12 inch UV based material that you can cut, you can sand, and you can paint it. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on the front of the kayak to protect it from any type of damage. Uh, we also have a three by four, so this is a smaller version. So if you just had like a little hole or something, maybe a little slice, you could use this patch right here instead of having to go with the big patch. And I've got the perfect spot for this as well. Uh, what else came in here? This looks like a non-skid piece. It's got some 3M tape across the back. So if you needed a place where you don't wanna worry about slipping or anything like that, Gator Guard's got this product out there. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got some pamphlets. It looks like the bag, everything kind of came in here. Got some Gator Guard stickers, pretty cool. Okay, so here's some of the stuff that's important that's in here. This is a Keel Shield Adhesive Activating Wipe. So you're gonna have to prep with that. Uh, a couple more pamphlets on how it works. Another active wipe piece, one of the stickers. Okay, and so here's a couple of the pieces to to actually apply that. It looks like we have got a squeegee, uh, hard plastic material. This will help to push and make sure it's sealed really, really well. We've got a little uh, purple scotch bright card kind of scuff up a little bit and that's another active one. And then the last thing we got in here is this giant piece of non-skid. And I also have a great place to put this. So stay tuned. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna flip the kayak upside down and we're gonna take a look at what I've been using and why we're switching to this. All right, guys, so I got the kayak on the sawhorses. I've flipped it upside down. I've cleaned it up. I can kind of see what's going on. And you can see what I've been doing in the past is I've been using duct tape to make my own keel guard. It constantly wears through. I'm constantly replacing it. So we're gonna get all this pulled off. We're gonna get the kayak cleaned up really, really well and prepped. And then we're going to add the new Gator Guard keel shield to this kayak. All right, now that I've got the duct tape off, I wanna go ahead and take the Scotch Bride that came with the kit, and I wanna go ahead and run that down everywhere that patch is gonna be. I wanna take off any little burrs, any little nicks, something like that, but then I wanna scuff the surface just enough to give it something for that patch to hold on to. So let's knock that out real quick. All right, so now that we've scuffed up all three surfaces where we're gonna be applying the patch, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up one more time to get all the dust out of here. And then I'm gonna use the little chemical pad that it came with. I'm gonna wipe everything down and it says to let that dry for five minutes. So that'll give us enough time to go inside and cut those patches to length. All right guys, so we've got the adhesive out there drying. It's gotta dry for five minutes. So while we have that downtime, we're gonna go ahead and cut this open. And because it's a nine by 12 patch, I'm not gonna put that big a patch. You can cut this with household scissors. So I'm gonna cut it into three, three inch by 12 inch strips to make a long keel guard. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here are a couple of things we're gonna use. I've got the packaging paper from the box, Sharpie, the patch itself, scissors, and a straight edge. So let's go ahead and get this cut open. Now remember, this is 
a UV adhesive. So you do want to keep it out of the sunlight the best that you possibly can. Now I know it has a protective liner on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mark the back side. All right, so now I've got my lines drawn down there. I've got three three inch by 12 inch pieces. So let's go ahead and cut those. Perfect. Now they're ready to go outside. All right, so kayak is prepped. The pieces are cut. I went ahead and rounded off the top of the other one just to make it look a lot like the keel guard you find on a bass boat. And I've got those two paired together. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay them out in an orientation about like that. So let's go ahead and get started. There's gonna be one side that has labels on it. Probably can't see it that well out here, uh, but inside you could probably see it. It's where I marked my lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that side back. And now really, really take your time to line everything up. I'm looking for my highest scuff mark and that's where I'm gonna center this. And then I'm just gonna take my time going straight, straight back with it. And then from there, go ahead and take the little tool it comes with and this is where I'm gonna push down. Now remember, I'm still just on the actual keel part of the kayak. I haven't started pushing down on the sides yet. All right, so I'm gonna start at the front and work my way back by just slowly kind of working it and pinching it into place. Now I can take the tool and I can start to work some of these wrinkles out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other piece. You're gonna have about an average work time of about five to 10 minutes, depending on how bright it is outside. I do have a little bit of cover overhead, but uh, for the most part, I've got great sunlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and I'm gonna line it all the way up against the one right in front of it. Same thing, run down the spine. And now work your way down. All right, so now you can peel the clear plastic off. All right, so at this point, I now have a 24 inch keel guard up front on the kayak. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit out here in the sun for a while, start to cure up, and then I can come in and I can lightly sand some of these edges so I don't have to worry about the water running and constantly wanting to try to rub this off. So we're just gonna let it sit up for a while and then we'll be back out and we'll check it out here in a second. All right, so now we've got the keel guard on. Uh, I can already tell it's starting to harden up. Doesn't take much time. Got the, light, the sunlight above us. Um, it's in a little bit of shade, so it might take a few minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let it sit for about 30 minutes or so, and then we're going to come back and take a look at it, uh, maybe do a little bit of light sanding so that I can prepare it for paint. Uh, but other than that, I now have a two-foot keel guard on the kayak. All right, so as you can see, it's been sitting out in the sun all day. Uh, it's already completely cured. I went ahead and taped it off with a couple different sizes of blue masking tape. Then I went ahead and sanded it so that I'd have a nice surface for the spray paint to stick to. Started off with 50 grit, then moved to 150. And the paint that we're gonna give a shot today is gonna be your Rust-Oleum black paint. Uh, it sticks to pretty much any surface whatsoever and already has a primer in it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when you're done sanding, make sure to go over it with a wet rag, get any leftover dust knocked down. Um, if you wanna wipe it down with alcohol and then let it cure, you can definitely do that as well. And now when applying the spray paint, you know, make sure to shake the can thoroughly. And I like to go with thin coats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on the first thin coat. 
All right, perfect. So the first coat's on. We're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. Okay, in between coats of paint, I like to go back through, scuff it up a little bit more, and apply the next coat of paint. So again, this second coat will also be a real thin coat. All right, so it's time for the final coat. So we're gonna do the same thing. Go right back through, give it a little bit of a scuff. You just wanna take that shine off of it. And then we'll go through with the last coat of paint. All right, that looks good. So at this point, once you've got it painted up, you can go ahead and start peeling the tape back. All right, so as you can see, I now have the keel guard on here. The last coat of paint's drying up. We're just gonna leave it out here for a little while, but this was a quick and easy project. It's only gonna make my kayak last that much longer and protect the bottom of it from getting scratched up. So if you got any questions, go ahead and comment down below. I get to them the best I possibly can. Also, go check out some of the links of social media that I've got listed below, and that's another really good way to get a hold of me. I answer a lot of questions through Facebook. But until next time, guys, as always, Thanks for watching.